Doctors told 250. Doctors told 250. He petrified a Richie. Listen to this. Petrified. Petrified of Richie. think he sounds jilted now. Imagine if he didn't hear my voice for two months now. Doc, you said you think he sounds jilted now, huh? I drive that punk crazy, Doc. Doc, I drive that punk crazy, Doc. Doc, ask him what his boyfriend told him, Doc. Doc, ask him what his boyfriend told him about me, Doc. He might not want to discover that, Richie. And Richie, some things need to be heard and some things are not meant to be heard. Some things are kept on the goddamn DL and left to down low there. Come on. He barked at his girlfriend. He barked at her. He says, how do you know? And the man told him, there ain't a queer chord in that man's voice. His boyfriend told him, there ain't a queer chord in that man's voice. Got two live oh more fucked up than anything else is how I know exactly word for word what was said in his bedroom. What got him more fucked up in the brain is he wants to know how I know what was said word for word in his own bedroom. Ago, it all started. You ain't nowhere near prepared to finish. 
don't start it. It's not like I didn't warn them, Doc. It's not like it's not like this is not all on video game, Doc. It's not like I wanted to play, Doc. You know what I mean? It's my game board. I'm the motherfucking landlord of this monkey bars. You know what I mean? I, I ain't changing my spots for nobody. It is what it is. I am what I am. And there ain't a cocksucker here in my voice that can change any of it. I'm that quiet. Right, 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 yeah, man, boy. Richard, they love you. They love the fuck out of you. you the guy wants you to come to Harlem. The guy wants you to come to the man down there. Just Mr. Firewall wants you to pull up on this fucking lock and everything like that. They giving you imitation like you a motherfucking king. They rolling out the carpet. Richard, what the fuck did you do? I'm just teaching them how to handle a beef. I'm just teaching them how to handle a beef. They wanted to start a beef. I'm just showing them the butcher. I'm just showing them how to handle their beef. It's not my fault. It's not my fault if they don't know how to handle their beef. It's not my fault if they don't know what to do with their beef. It's not my fault. It's not my fault if I'm bringing the butcher to their face because they want to pretend they got beef. <laughs> not my fault. Well, Doc, the truck drivers did tell them all in, 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 10 years ago. The truck driver told them all on video game, these guys ain't gonna win against Richie. Richie been out here too long doing radios and selling us amplifiers. You can't tarnish his name. He's good. two video channels from 194 Utica, they got me telling them multiple times, yeah, come see me, I stand in front of McDonald's over there, I'm a sidewalk comedian, I'm a street performer, Doc, you know how many videos they got to be telling them where to come see me? Doc, you hear what I did to them, right? They had to wait for somebody else to tell them it's all true. But you know, Doc, those videos are out there about a year and a half before Birdie even came home from jail and keyed up the first time. So it really don't matter. The power of the video gates, the power of reality, the power of the chain of events. I'm back quiet. Well, 250, you're going to get a first-hand eyes-on chance to prove all that, don't you know? Well, I, like the rest of the East Coast, can't wait to hear your mouth behind that mic after this eyeball. I'm clear. Oh, 
Uh, Doc told you, ain't nobody holding hands. You're dying to hold somebody's hand. But don't worry. When I key up on video game and tell you I'm downstairs, come on down. Make sure you bring your Kevlar's so you can hold a hand. <laughs> I'll be back. So you're saying that fear that rocked in you that night that's been there ever since is what's got you hearing things that are not on video? I understand. We all understand. But hold those thoughts, man. Save all that for your face-to-face -face with Richie. I'll be back. Oh, so you are. I've never seen you before. I don't want to know you. I don't know you. I've never seen you before. Why'd you run from CK? All I had to do was make it to that sidewalk and walk away, remember? I was told I was never going to be able to walk away. What are you guys, something from ADD? What are you guys, something like kept you with a phone in your hand? I'm the only nigger on the sidewalk. It was just the little weeble and wobble and midget was trying to look tough for the fucking video. But Mr. Enforcer, you got to be a fool to start swinging with somebody wearing gloves like that. You're never going to be able to connect with them. You know what I mean? But I understand what fear did. I understand. Ain't nobody need a vest for you. Ain't nobody afraid of you. I was all vested up. I was all vested. You petrified of me, bitch. Told the whole world. Embarrassment. Your own words. Your own words destroyed you every inch of moment out here, bro. And Richie just helped you do it. Richie just helped you get there. Okay? Now take your rock in the face fantasies. Put them where you have to put them. And hold that thought, 250. Everybody out here listening can't wait to hear your mic mouth after that. He just wants to get your identity. He wants to peep you. Poor punky, listen to him. Listen to, listen to this bitch. Listen to this alternate male now. Doing the power walk, running away, talking on these. Listen to this alternate male now. Listen to this alternate male now. Well, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. I don't know you. I've never seen you before. Well, what was all that tough guy? What, what were the five badges? Listen to the alternate male now. I'll be back. About uh, he choked with stone pond. Ask him about all that. He's the cop for the last 30 years. Ask him where, where do all I go when he was running off the sidewalk. So uh, are you really mad over my career? Are you mad over the things I've done in my career? Are you mad because of the people I know in my career? Are you mad because of the things I do and flaunt it? Uh, don't you wish you could say some of the shit I do and it be true? Remember what I told you 10 years ago? Don't ever try to spit like me. Don't ever in your life try to spit like me. Well, they have mental illness and uh... <laughs> Poor punky. All right, East Coast. I leave it up to y'all. I am the man in command and full control. And you want to know what? Watch what I let go in this mic. CK ran him off the sidewalk. That's the kind of man you are, chicken plucker. You a chicken plucker. So you proud that CK had six face-to-faces with Richie and he's only got one good story to tell? <laughs> hey, at least, at least he spoke up the last time. At least he was man enough to speak up the last time. <laughs> I'm back quiet. And you weren't man enough to hold your ground. You ran. I did everything I said I was going to do. I did everything I said I was going to do. I did everything I said I was going to do. But ain't none of y'all did anything y'all said you were going to do. Ain't none of y'all lived up to your lips yet. Richie always living up to his lips. And I'm going to walk away on your side. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, technically, you ran away. Technically, it was a run. It wasn't a walk. Whatever, whatever. Listen, I'll take it any way I got it. It's still Richie's words delivered to the hill. I still made it there, made it there three times, made it face to face, made it eye to eye. You hear the nigga swear and he looked in my eye. You know how close I had to be for him to do that? But he didn't take a swing. So like I said, I'm going to embarrass you. I ain't got no time for you. My Lord, what embarrassment that caused. Oh, did it go crazy after that? Okay, I'll catch y'all later. Reality, I'm bad. <laughs> Reality's got me happy as a pig doodle. Reality's got me happy as a pig doodle. Reality's got me happy as a pig doodle. I got you nothing but petrified, 250. Now try to convince them of something that ain't real. I'm clear. Yeah, he did it. Lucy, 
Christ that he did run away, so he admitted that much, that that part is true. He, he said he did everything he came to do, which is right, he did, and then he ran away. Told him exactly what was going to happen on his sidewalk and made it a reality. Don't they wish they could move like me? Don't they wish they'd say, yo, I'll be to that corner at this time and actually show up? Don't they wish they could make moves like Richie? Don't they wish they could move and spit like Richie? I'm clear. Well, good morning, two five old brother. I got one I got one question, one two seven. Hey Richie. Now you say that you're like an unstoppable juggernaut. You can't be beat. If you can't be beat, why are you running away? Sir, sir, you damn right I told you damn right I told the rock. You damn right I told Russian organized crime and the crooked cops wearing my uniform behind them that I'm gonna run through them like a fucking juggernaut. I ain't lying. Don't worry, I'll bring it to your eyes soon enough. Don't worry, it's coming to a theater near you soon enough. Don't worry about that. Richie's words always come to fruition, exactly to the letter of the words he states, exactly to the ramification he's implying, exactly to the indirects they say I'm implying. It doesn't matter. I bring them to reality. I bring those words to life. That's what I'm hired to do. I'm back crying. But that don't answer none of my question. That don't answer none of my question. I said, if you're unbeatable and juggernaut, why run? It makes no sense. It's the whole point of proving the point. You tell me any one of these rah rah motherfuckers out here that told me they're gonna do this, that, or the other thing to me, tell me any one of them that did that or tried to do any of that. That's what it's all about, sir. Keeping reality up in their face. They can, you listen, y'all, you're welcome to say anything you want. You're welcome to any opinion you want. What it all comes down to is this it's going on 11 calendar years, and Richie told each and every one of them. Dollar against an hour with the whole mother that gave birth to you. You ain't doing none of that. And how many times did Richie have to bring it to their face to prove it? So it really don't matter what, what, what you say. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter what they can convince the world of. What matters is the reality and the way it stands at this moment. I'm back quiet. Well, what the, it doesn't matter. It don't matter to me because it ain't my beef in the first place. I, I, could, I could care less. I don't, I don't have no skill in that game. I'm just, I'm just asking. If, to me, I'm trying to understand. Like I said, if you are that bad, as you say, you said you were going to walk away. You said you were going to do what you had to do, show up, do that, and walk away. But if you are that bad, why did you need to run instead of walk? You said you would walk off. You said you'd walk out of there. That's what you just said that you said. <laughs> Well, you're right, sir. You, you're damn right. You have no skin in this game, so you shouldn't be worried about how I play on the game board. You shouldn't be worried about how I wangle the game board. Obviously, I've been doing this a little too long. That's why it's going on 11 calendar years and not one of these mouthy radio Rambo. I proved to be Rambolina motherfuckers put their fucking hands on me. So until then, man, it's all good. It's all good. Let the show rock on. Let another day roll. <laughs> Let them believe they live in the fight me another day. That's all it is. It's all good till somebody puts their hands on me. And everything that's going on is all allowed and permissible. Ain't none of it wrong. It's all allowed and permissible. You are in the United States of America. If you have no idea where the fuck you're at, what do you want me to do? Fantasy Island at its best. 
Well, you see what I did to all your Fantasy Island episodes, yours and your buddies. When yours is coming up, homo, hang tough to that. Make sure you got your Kevlar's in good shape. You're going to need them. I'm clear. Even Doc told you you're a pansy. Mr. Enforcer, you know what you sound like out here today? You know what you really sound like? I understand alternate males and queers have no shame. I'm well aware of that. I'm that quiet. Doc 250 says he's not paying no mind to you. He says you're talking fantasy. He says you're talking fantasy island, Doc. Doc, Doc, him going eye to eye with Richie was all a sexual fantasy. Him begging every operator out here to kidnap me and just bring him to him is all a sexual fantasy. Doc, all he has of Richie is sexual fantasies, Doc. Doc, he ain't ready to go eye to eye with the man. <laughs> I'm going to put a video link in the description section of this video. Anybody who wants to hear 250's greatest fantasy, anybody that wants to hear 250's greatest fantasy, just click on the link in this video description. Just click on the video and fast forward into the five minute zone and give it 90 seconds. Listen to 250's greatest fantasy. <laughs> and I'm going to make it a reality for him. Ain't that a bitch? I that's not going to be as good as the video I got at Utica and Carson. I mean, at 198 Utica. You got a video at 198 Utica? You got a video at 198 Utica? Oh, my goodness gracious. Mr. Enforcer, anytime you try to say that dumb shit, don't you know if we go to YouTube, type in Enforcer 250, period, and let's say... 2016. Every video that that channel put up for 2016 will be in your face. If I t if I type that today, Enforcer 250 period 2024, any and every video you released in 24 will be up in my face. Are you still trying to convince people of rock in the face fantasies? Are you still trying to convince people out here that you've made videos at Utica and Clarkson that nor I, YouTube, nor God, or anybody else that has ever seen out here? I don't believe it. Richie, in that much control. Let me correct myself. 194 Utica. Hold on, Doc, hold on. 250 is crying about a video he has from me at 194 Utica Avenue. But his video channel did not start till two years, three years after I moved off 194 Utica Avenue. Hold on, Doc. He's got videos that he didn't make yet, Doc. Doc, he's got videos that his channel didn't even start yet, Doc. Doc, he's got videos he put up when I was at 194 Utica, Doc, on his channel, on his on a channel that started in 2016. Doc, I moved out of 194 Utica in 2013. <laughs> 20, excuse me, 2014. March of 2014. March 13, 2014, I was out of that door. All right, I'm going to get back in the cut now and let 25 of the homo figure out how their lips put them in their jackpot. The king in full control. You're afraid of that video now. You're afraid that's going to get out. How can I be afraid of something that don't exist, punky? Punky, how can I be afraid of something that simply does not exist? Duck looking guy called. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, it sounds beautiful. I'm giving you the chance to run into me. When I key up and tell you come downstairs, I'm in front of your building. We'll see what happens after that. Make sure you bring it down, okay? Nothing never happened. Good to it, <laughs> This is what I call full control. You hear him? You hear him? You hear him? Some enforcer, right? Some enforcer. What's he enforcing? 
pussyism? What's she enforcing? Mama drama? What's she enforcing? Chicken shit? I'm clear. Mr. Only homos and alternate males call it the big house. Only homos and alternate males. I didn't know that's what homos call it. You should know. Yeah, so what are you fucking doing all the way down here? Go down there by Broadway. Okay, I'll let you hold Doc's hand because I know I'd take him out. So I'll let you talk to your boyfriend over there. In a bunch of fucking goddamn weeks. Mr. A. Doc 250 is highly jealous that you're back on the band wave after three months. And he's real mad that you're trying to talk to me in this video game, Doc. Doc, but I'm going to let 250 rock on. He, he, he is an alternate male. He has no queer shame left in him. He cannot see it. His queer is so far out in front of him, he can't see it anymore. So I'm going to let him convince who he can convince and sell where he can sell. The man in full control is clear. Because I was told under no circumstance am I going to be able to walk off that sidewalk. That's why. Maybe you don't understand how the game's played. Maybe you don't understand what making motherfuckers eat their words are about. But in order for y'all to make me eat my words, y'all got to put a hand on me. And until that happens, it's all good. I'm clear. Coward was out here last week telling the whole rest of the world they're going to call the police. <laughs> really? Who is this? You got this on video? I don't think so. Because it never happened. You couldn't sell that if you tried. I don't have to sell it. It sold itself. <laughs> No, no, I'm not her husband yet. And yes, I do possess five badges. I only acknowledge four of them, though. I do possess five, but I only acknowledge four. I will never acknowledge my FBI credential. Not in this lifetime, not in the next one. Not while I'm melting that headquarters to the fucking ground. I'm that quiet. So when are you actually going to uh, come to a reality, come to your senses and live in the world of reality? When is that going to happen? When are you going to get off the drugs? Right after I go eye to eye with 250 and show them I'm not his crack smoking drug buddy. We're all going to see a change out here. We're all going to hear a change. <laughs> I already told you that's not going to happen. Listen to the pussy. Listen to the pussy. Listen to the radio Rambo sound like the victim. I'm clear, guys. I got to get upstairs to the kitchen, man, or I'm going to be here bickering all morning. And, you know, I hate arguing with fucking alternate males, you know. Well, once I prove what I need to prove, man, my job is done. <laughs> Back in the cut I go. Yeah, you proved already on the sidewalk that you're a coward. Well, I'm dying to hear one of you tell me you're going to be at this corner at such and such a time and actually show up. Until then, man, don't worry about how I move or the moves I make. Worry about what y'all do. Don't worry about me. No one's worried about you. It's just that you prove how much of a coward you are. All right, well, you're going to be able to prove that. Make sure you bring your Kevlar's down in that so-called Unicor Avenue 194 video. Well, listen, listen, a video camera going to be rolling before I key up and tell you to come down. Video camera going to have you talking on your radio before I key up and have you come down. Make sure you bring that video down. Make sure we got something good to show my viewers. Make sure there's some reality there. I told you, that's not going to happen. Didn't you just tell me when, when, I, when, you, when you see me face to face, you're going to show it to me, it's on your phone? Damn, you don't know what the fuck to do or say. You don't know, you don't know how to try to escape the reality coming your way, do you? You petrified bitch. Well, I'm making it a reality, homo. It's not if I happen. It's not a question of if. It's a question of when. I'm back quiet. I got them all twisted now. 
Sure you do. I'm 10-7. But that, that video I got of you, a 194 video, 194 Utica with those young black boys smoking crack. Oh, man, that, that was a doozy. Smoking crack a lot. Always smoking crack. Always he always smoking crack. Always crack. Which he always smoked the crack. Why he talk on the video about the guys who are plugging on CK, the restaurant guys out there, and they helped the guys there. Fifty dollar job right there. And they told us something they threw on the ground. Bravo. Bitch ass motherfuckers like y'all clowns out there. The young boy said this was to treat a motherfucker, but Richie already knew the motherfucking game. <laughs> you got to have games with them, with Mister Five. Well, Richie got fucking game. Your goddamn shit is played the fuck out. That's why you're mad at me. He says your game is lame. All lames aside. I'm in a corner. I'm right there. Hey, you've been crying for the last fucking ten fucking years, and you hold that old man's hand, Richard. Hold your hold your buddy's hand. He's talking to you specifically, sir. He's directing words at you specifically. He's talking directly to you, sir, not me. But we'll let the video gate show that. I'm going up to the kitchen. Bye. Yeah, I'm talking to the I can't hear him, man. It's, it's carrying shit to me right now. You're up there fucking bitching and fucking crying and trying to get out the fucking game that you fucking playing. Don't come up, Richard. Don't come up with a big amp for fire. Doc, it don't matter if you pay his car fare and provide his transportation. He's not stepping within five blocks of this 20. His feet will not step within five blocks of this 20. And I'm going to continue to do my thing right up in your face. I want to know how they're going to see you run on that video game. How are they going to see you running in that building under the bed? Well, we'll let them wonder about that. Now, I'm going to run up to the kitchen while you try to figure out what you're going to do with your eye-to-eye, -eye, eyeball, face-to-face -face for the first time with Richie. I'm Claire.
That's fear and common sense, Doc. Doc, that's fear and common sense that rule his world, rock his mic, and run his move. Doc, that's fear and common sense at work, and he can't say nothing different about it. That's right. And we all know it. Everybody knows it. We all know it. Everybody knows it. Everybody, everybody. And notice I say everybody, that's every listener out here. I'm clear. Yeah, I got a copy on your station, dude. You're in my video gate at the 35 minute zone if you want to know how you sound. Now, we're quite busy out here and I got to get back up to the kitchen because I want to I leave my, my Marys cry themselves out on the public shoulders. The man in command in full control. And you want to know what I'm in control of besides me? Watch when I let go of this mic. Bite your tongue, Mr. Forcer. Speak your mind. Come on now. The only one who is in control of Richard is Dr. Love. You two fairy boys, you guys are meant for each other. Oh, uh, Mr. Forcer, look at you. You're so fucking white, you can't goddamn speak right. Richie, you not know, have Dr. Love. Dr. Love is a full control. Doc, you passing the 411, that 250 is petrified of Richie. You passing the 411 the right way, don't worry about it. Anybody out there reading the mail? I got a white guy over here. He called him Frost, and you may not hear him. He's down at the lower deck down there. Richie's in Brooklyn. Amongst the Jamaicans, the Haitians, the West Indians, the blacks. <laughs> He's like a goddamn Oreo cookie. He's the queen in the middle of the fucking Oreo cookie. Everybody else is black. And he got a thing for this cat there, Mr. Fucking the Forces out here. He's like he's an ass kisser. He kissed the goddamn ass of these goddamn Spanish guys up there. He stayed more in their corner, more than Richie's fucking. He lick his lips after he kiss ass. He lick his lips. Mr. Forces, Richie know I've been out here gaming at him. You don't know. Everybody must have been Mr. Forces. Dr. Love talk a lot of fucking shit. You better watch him, Mr. Frosser. You don't fuck with Dr. Love. Dr. Love will gonna let you fucking have it. He's gonna get that nigga in the shot of him. Mr. Frosser, man. Hey, Richie. You wanna black, you wanna bother this guy to land big black.
like a pussy. A queef. He's a queef, Doc. <laughs> Look at that, Doc. He got so scared he turned his box off because he don't want nobody to hear him try to say he never said that. Too many imitators, too many instigators. I'm the man in full control, the king.